Yo, what is up, my dudes? It's Devon, please, and welcome back to Angel Wings. So, uh, in this episode, I wanted to go through Kay's endings, and because Kay's, uh, like, my dialogue with Kay has been relatively the same, the f like, compare, like, comparing the first playthrough to my second playthrough, everything was relatively the same, so there might not be a whole lot in this video. Um, the reason why I'm back is because I wanted to see Kay's endings. Um, and I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to show it on uh, on the channel or, uh, you know, just on my own time. But um, there's a hidden achievement, like a secret hidden achievement for getting Kay's bad ending. And it seems very ominous. So, um, I don't know, I could be dead wrong about this, but hey, I just want to, I want to see. Um, so we're going to get in it. Uh, I do want to try and get her good ending first. Uh, day 36. Looks like rain today. Who am I thinking of most right now? So for here, I'm going to choose K. And, uh, we'll see how K's story goes about on this. Despite the gloomy aura and cloudiness leading up to today, only a vast expanse of blue can be seen skyward this morning. The chirping of the birds and the scent of fresh spring air seem to signal warmer days to come. My first summer here. Wonder what it'll, what it'll be like. You really wanted to spend time or uh, spend today with me. How nice. Wait, you really wanted to spend today with me? Oh, okay. How nice of you to have. <laughs> You've been gone so long. It was only logical. Well, in any case, I appreciate it. She walks past me and proceeds behind the kitchen counter, the scent of her floral perfume following like the breeze of an open field. Nonchalantly gazing into the open refrigerator, she's no doubt pondering what to make for breakfast, or maybe even lunch or dinner. She thinks about meals like a chess grandmaster plots their next move. I'm proud of you, you know? Me? Why? She smiles, still gazing into the blue glow of the fridge. You've grown up a lot. Was I not grown up before? Ha! <laughs> you know what I mean, silly. Growing up, or growing as a person, learning more about yourself and everyone else, and no matter how hard things have gotten, you're still trying your best. I admire that, I guess. I, uh, thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. She closes the fridge and smiley, or smiles warmly at me, basking in the sunlight flooding through the open window. I don't really feel like cooking this morning. Do you want to go somewhere and maybe find a place to eat? Really? Sure. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm very interested. Why here? You don't remember? I'm not proud of it, but I do. Good memory you have. Is it too soon? No, it's fine. I just figured you're not the type to run away from your problems anymore. She begins to walk ahead as I follow. It seems like you've learned to face your problems head on. And even those uh, and even those of all the girls who live with us. I hope it's not tiring. Passersby are sparse this morning, allowing me to speak freely without feeling awkward. I'd be lying if I said I was having an easy time with it. How do you do it? Do what? I'm not in the field changing girls' lives like you are, Devin. Oh, please. I haven't changed anyone's life. I mean, how do you handle all these things and stay so calm? You always seem to have a plan and never get rattled or frustrated. At least you never show it. She rests her hands behind her head, looking up at the sky and closing her eyes. The truth is, I worry just as much as everyone else. Maybe even more. But at the end of the day, I know things are going to work out. Being surrounded by all these... All of these smart, talented people at home makes me sure of that. <clears throat> makes me sure of that. You really have a lot of faith in everyone, don't you? I've always tried to see the good in people. And... You be quiet. <laughs> don't know if y'all heard that. I've always tried to see the good in people, and you all make it very, or really easy for me. She reopens her eyes, gaze upon, or gaze focused upward. I was worried she'd run into something with her eyes closed. Everyone's so inspiring. It makes me think I should quit my job and find something a little more ambitious. At least something with more stable work hours. She comes to a halt and looks over at me. Maybe I'll follow in your footsteps. You're doing pretty well for yourself these days. She reaches towards me as if she's going to pat my head, but catches herself inches short. She chuckles. I shouldn't. You're not a kid after all. Her hand slowly begins to retreat. I'm gonna assume grab it. I grab hold of her hand, her fingers intertwined in mine. You're right. Her eyes widen as she blushes. After a moment, she smiles and relaxes as we walk on, hand in hand. We spent what felt like hours just watching the clouds pass overhead. 
Without needing words, it felt like we were connected. This dreamlike feeling. It's never left me since I came to the city. Lying on the grass, I look over at Kay. She looks back at me, gazing lovingly back into my eyes. When will I wake from this dream? A morning as beautiful as any other. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's not that late, is it? I suppose not for you. We can't all be early bird master chefs like you. She giggles. Well, when do you want to eat? Maybe I can help you out for once. Oh, how sweet. Sure, I have some ideas for you. She gestures towards the far counter. Carrots? Why'd it go dark? <laughs> Kay hums to herself quietly as I struggle to chop the carrots. I've never heard her sing before, but the sound of her humming sounds virtually angelic. Your voice sounds nice. You really should have been a singer after all. She stops for a moment, looking over at me. She laughs nervously. Oh, you flatter me. I mean, I tried a few times. I guess others didn't think as highly of me as you do. It's never too late, right? Mm, I guess you're right. Maybe I'll try again once I get out of this job. She gazes wistfully into the distance as if clearly or visualizing her alternate reality. Lost in a dreamlike state, she snaps back after a brief moment. Oh, Devin, I said Julian Carrots, not Chopped. What? The, what does that even mean? I have no idea what that means either. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll handle the dishes. I suppose I should go shower. Yeah, you should. What's that supposed to mean? Eggs, I was about to say the same thing. She giggles and turns on the faucet. Her sense of humor is getting better, I guess. As I ascend the stairs, I see two, three large suitcases scattered around the upper level of the house. What's going on? I hear the rumble and shifting of furniture in Wise room. I walk towards the open door to investigate. Walls bare, boxes scattered around the floor. Her room exudes a lonely, barren vibe. Hey. Oh, hey. What's going on? I'm moving out. A pang of sadness flashes through my body like lightning. Why? She says nothing. Sensing my uneasiness, Y smiles reassuringly at me. I hope you'll be happy with Kay. I think you two are good for each other. Oh. While her kind words put my mind at ease, I can't help but feel shocked and blindsided. Anyway, I have some stuff I need to clear out of the garage. Hey, Devin. I wish I could have told you in person, but I'm moving. Thanks for being a good friend to me. You Jung too? Everybody's leaving? She walks past me and down the stairs. I can't uh, I can do nothing but stand in the doorway as I hear someone walking up the stairs. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I didn't even find out until yesterday. But don't worry, we'll find new housemates and you can make new friends again. Doesn't that sound nice? I don't know what to do other than laugh awkwardly. I haven't even had time to process what's happening. We can have the place to ourselves. <laughs> It's okay, we can have the place to ourselves, right? Oh, that sounds romantic. She mutters. The mortgage won't pay itself, though. Hmm? It's a joke. I know this isn't easy for you. Sorry. It really hurts this time. The pain of everyone around me leaving? It's been getting a little worse every day. And now this? Was I not enough? Did I do something to hurt them? Even with Kay by my side, is there something I could have done differently to stop the departures of those precious to me? When are they leaving? Tomorrow morning. Devin, it's going to be alright. I know it's a tough pill to swallow right now, but try to spend tonight with her. I think you could both use a final happy memory together. People will come and go, and it never gets easier. But that's the part of growing up. It doesn't mean they don't want to be with you. It just means things changed. I don't think I'll ever get used to this. This feeling of regret, contempt towards myself. I know you'll understand someday. You'll see. And what will you do? I have to go in tonight. But I promise it'll only be one night. Um, okay. <sighs> I don't know how to approach Y without disturbing her. I'm just pretending to catch up on work on my laptop. She lugs a massive suitcase down the stairs and, using great effort, effort, sets it down next to the front door. I probably should have helped her. Yeah, you think? That would have been nice. Leaning on the handle for a moment to catch her breath, she looks down at the floor for a moment as if conflicted about her next move. After what feels like an eternity of deliberation, she glances at me wistfully. What are you doing? Do I feel like talking to her? Either? Uh, not much really. Honestly, not much. I'm not finding myself very motivated lately. 
Me either. She looks away towards her suitcase once again. Hours seem to pass in this brief moment, when she finally opens her mouth to speak. Hmm? Don't be upset that I'm leaving. I just don't think I'm going to find what I want here. I understand. I'm glad you helped me though. I just wish I could have done more. You did all you could. I can't rely on you for so much. You never relied on me for anything. Everything you did was pretty much all you. It wasn't enough. Don't say that. She sighs. I'll be better. Things will be better. For both of us. You taught me what a friend is. That's worth a lot to me. Our friendship doesn't have to end just because you're leaving. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Uh, the sound of the oven fan rouses me to consciousness as I wake on the living room couch. Yujong is gone. For good this time. We spent all night reminiscing about our memories together, and although I still feel the pain of their departure, I hope I can live on knowing that there are no hard feelings between us. As I rub my eyes, a silver-tinted figure slowly comes into focus behind the counter. My back would really hurt if I slept on the couch like that. Well, luckily, I'm pretty sturdy. That is, he's like, ouch. Oh, you weak. <laughs> she laughs before returning to the stove. I stroll over and wrap my arm around her waist. Ooh. Did you have a good night with you, John? Yeah, I'm glad we were able to talk things out. I oh, uh, hope you didn't miss me too much. She gives me a quick, affectionate peck on the cheek. It feels casual, much more than I could ever have expected when I think about- Oh, think back to my first awkward interactions with Kay. Just a peck? I return a kiss on her soft, candy red lips. Oh man, homeboy getting in there. So bold and so early in the morning. I guess I should go wash up. You no longer have to wait in line behind three other girls. Isn't that lovely? I guess you're right. I walk towards the stairs as I hear a soft vibrating... I, I hear a soft vibrating coming from my room. Is that your phone? Oh, um, uh, I guess. Probably Yu Jung sending a goodbye text or something. I hastily grab my phone from my nightstand and jog up the stairs to shower. What was it? Went to the store to grab some more veggies. Oh wait, I should check that other message I got earlier. You didn't even check that? Don't trust her. See, I told you. Very ominous. What the? Who? You know her as K. Is this some kind of prank? Who is this? No response. A sense of dread washes over me. Consuming my thoughts are sending me into a deep feeling of despair. Overwhelmed by my emotions, I sit on the cold kitchen floor, holding my knees. This whole time, I've never had a reason to distrust Kay. She's always been kind and understanding, taking me in when I had nowhere else to go. What would be the reason that someone would say this? As far as I know, Kay doesn't have any enemies. Staring down the empty hallway, I'm struck by the realization that I haven't been truly, or I haven't been truly by myself in a long time. It's quiet and lonely. Oh man. Oh man. The trumpets blare incessantly uh, while someone smashes cymbals together like a wind up monkey. My head hurts. Without Yu Jong to provide calm in this chaos, I only feel discomfort in this classroom, which is in constant disarray. If I went to the alley for some peace and quiet, Chang wouldn't be there. I'd just be sitting next to a dumpster wishing for days of the past. I'm just here watching the hours go by. No fulfillment. No new experiences. It all feels so empty. What's wrong, Devin? Having a hard time focusing? What the heck was that? That was so loud in my ear. Also kind of scary. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> that was honestly kind of scary. Oh, shoot. What did I say? Uh, a little. Oh. How about you take your books and go study somewhere a little quieter? Yeah, thanks. Poking listlessly at my plate with the fork, I'm struggling to summon the energy to finish off what I'm sure is a delicious meal. What's wrong with me? What's wrong, Devin? Do you not like it? I'm just a little tired today. Sorry. Despite knowing I should be happy, I can't help but feel a mix of emptiness and anxiety stemming from yesterday's text. What don't I know about Kay? Have I been trusting too easily this entire time? Is Kay even her real name? 
thoughts swim through my head, drifting aimlessly but setting my mind aflame with despair. I can do nothing but wonder as my fork sluggishly dances around the plate. Devin, you know you can talk to me if you're upset. It's a little lonely here tonight. She puts her fork down and shifts uneasily. I agree. We'll have to find some new housemates soon. There's simply too much space here for it to be so empty. I hope the girls are happy though. She pauses, tension thick in the air. Is this not what you wanted? What do you mean? She rests her chin on her crossed fingers. Are you not happy with just the two of us? Such a sudden question. Um, I just wanted to make things the way you wanted, Devin. If you're unsatisfied, things can always go back to how they were before. Tempted to scoff and mention that she sounds like a genie, I can feel the weighty emotions behind her words. I have a feeling that however I answer, Kay is fully intent on carrying through with it. Um, I'm happy here now? Her expression softens, and she smiles lovingly. I'm glad, Devin. We'll make more friends, and someday you'll be even happier here. We'll do it together. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'd love to stay with you longer, but unfortunately, I have to go into work tonight. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be alright. Her eyes tremble with concern for a brief moment before she steps closer and gives me a quick kiss on the cheek. Be good, Devin. Text me. She turns and walks out the front door. I half-heartedly wave goodbye to her while standing in the doorway. The crickets are extra loud tonight. Oh my gosh. The vibration from my phone snaps me out of my weary days as I realize I've been standing on the front steps for longer than I can remember. What? That I can remember? Than I can remember. Check the files. This again? What files? Who are you? Just do it. What files? Case computer. What's happening? Her computer? She doesn't even own one as far as I know. Could they mean at the phone shop? No response again. Heart racing and hands shaking, my brain is a scrambled mess of emotions. Am I afraid? Excited? Both. And yet, I want to know. I feel that I need to know so that I can have some sort of resolution. At least some at least some semblance of an answer. I shake my head and clench my fists as or and I begin to walk. Okay. Yo, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> I feel like it's going to be like some jump scare is going to happen. <laughs> My mind races with questions as I pace through the nearly abandoned mall. Who could have sent these texts? Was it one of the girls? Is this just a prank after all? Who could be enemies with Kay? I glance briefly at the passing grand piano. Thoughts of Yujong cross my mind as I move forward. A strike of emptiness attacking my heart. Maybe this isn't even worth it. I wonder to myself. But at this point, my legs are carrying me towards my destination. I no longer have control over my actions as I approach that familiar neon green glow. The eerie green glow of Ajima Mobile never fails to give me the impression that I've entered an alternate dimension, some sort of spiritual purgatory. If Kay is here, I have to confront her about these messages. They're far too specific for it or to be any spam at this point. As I approach the counter, I find that nobody is here, or is, is here. The store is completely empty and Kay's laptop lies unguarded before me. Hello? No answer. Okay? My call falls silent as I look around at the dimly lit collection of antique relics around me. I've come this far and my target is right in front of me. I turn the laptop screen towards me. There's no password. All I need to do is log in and I'll find answers. In the back of my mind, I wonder if I'm really doing the right thing. I truly do care for Kay and I know, th I know that I could be happy with her if I just turned around and forgot about all of this. What should I do? Log in, we here now. Hands trembling, I almost missed the button. Without a achievement unlocked, sensitive information. Without a single further click, a database opens before me. Um Yujong Chang A massive list spanning thousands of individuals, heights, weights, interests, and income range. All of our friends, every single person I've met this entire time I've been here. Yujong, Chang, they're all here. A digital reliquary 
of souls. I'm pretty sure I said that, that word wrong. <laughs> Representing the carefully crafted new Elvis city that I've come to know. This was no accident. Am I waking up here, meeting everyone? This isn't even a phone shop, is it? Is this sort or some sort of front for another organization? My world has been shattered. I can do nothing more than stare blankly at the screen before me as I hear the door open behind me. Wait, hold on, let me just read this real quick. Yu Jong has a younger sister named Yuri, a six-time NEMA award winner. Medical records show Yu Jong suffers from... Ooh. Uh, dutiful, ambitious, empathetic, mentor. Uh, Chang, 21. Uh, Chang is the daughter of wealthy former... Ooh. Enrollment records show that she has attended. Legal records show a history of infractions... Cold, indifferent, artistic, rebellious, escapist. And then why is unknown? My world has been shattered. I can do nothing more uh, as I hear the door open behind me. Yo, I'm not about to get... Uh, I'm not going to get jump scared, am I? <laughs> what? I'm so nervous. I don't want to... It's so, it's so ominous. That was a bug. It's so ominous. What was the point of all this? The cycle is repeating itself. What kind of sick game is this? Bringing me here? Playing with me like this? Playing with my feelings? I... I just want to know what the freak the point of all this was. To find love? To fix something in my life? To teach me some kind of messed up lesson? This is, this is old stuff, but let's see where this goes. Everything is just worse than it was before. K continues to stare at the ground. Are you going to freaking say something? I wanted to build a family. What? A family that loved each other, stuck together, no matter how hard things got. A real family who accepted each other no matter what. Something that I never had. Something that I could never have. Something that I never had. Wait, hold on. Did I just... Did she say it twice? Something that I never had. Something that I could never have. Something that I never had. Okay. Something that I could never have. But look at what happened. I know you've been hurt. So have I. Yujong, Chang, Nudi, Wai, they're all gone now. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm all alone again. I'm the only one who doesn't have anyone to go home to. For the rest of the girls, there are other realities where everyone is happy. Everyone has someone to love and everyone is loved by another. Devin, you and I have that one thing in common. There's no one for either of us. No other reality where we find what we're looking for i'm not finding my way out of that phone job i don't have any family to support me the closest thing i have to friends are the people who come and go in this house and you let's face it you were doomed to spend the rest of your days rotting in apathy with nobody to love and nobody to love you oh those words again <laughs> i know you have a family you had friends you rejected them because in the end you felt like you weren't deserving of their trust their affections why do you think it hurts so much when they left you? It's because you wish you could have done something, anything to make them stay. But at, the end of, but at the end of the day, you and I were both powerless. We've always felt that way. We're more alike than you want to believe. I've watched everything you've done since day one, your trials and tribulations, everything you did to grow as a person and to grow closer to the impossibility of finding true love. In the end, that's still impossible, isn't it? Isn't it? It, didn't, or it didn't end the way you wanted it to. You inspired me. That's why after all this, losing my entire surrogate family, you're still the one I need, Devin. You're the only one. Haven't we been there before? Why do you think- Oh, it wasn't- uh, These are- t have to, uh, You've been all alone for so long. Have you found this what you're looking for? Uh, no. Wow. Uh, no, I don't even get to see. All right. Through it all, you finally learned that you had the power to find your own happiness all along. After all, you picked up the phone, didn't you? Accept my new life. Maybe she's right. These feelings, this happiness that I once felt, wouldn't have been possible without her, without Kay. I do need her. Her affections weren't a lie. They never have been. After all this time, she's the only one who never wanted me for anything more than who I am. The only one who ever openly cared for me. All she ever wanted was companionship and closeness to one another. The same things I've always yearned for. Even back then, all they ever knew was loneliness. False intimacy with others never solved anything. Because deep down, what caused me the most sorrow 
was the fear that I would was the fear that what I wanted could never truly exist. Someone who really understood me. Someone I could fully devote my heart to. Someone who would do the same for me. Uh, the others, they were always there were always walls between us. No matter how close we grew, there was always something holding us back. Nothing could ever be true, and in the end, they were destined to end in failure. Wow. Maybe I've found what I was looking for all along. Right, do you need me? Oh, oh, well, if this is the end. I want to dream just a little longer. We never have to stop dreaming. I need you. I'm telling you, this is so ominous. I'm scared I'm going to get jump scared. I don't even know if this has a jump scare. It took a while, but I finally found my way. I found what I was searching for. I still don't know who sent those messages back then. I still wonder sometimes. Everyone else has moved away and moved on. I miss them, but life has continued. I still think about them once in a while. I hope they all found happiness. In the end, nobody stays alone forever. If they have the will to continue to exist, someday they'll find what they're searching for. Devin! What's up? Alright, coming. Just as I did. Oh, just as I did. Achievement unlocked. Eternal Embrace. Okay, so we got a new... Okay, yeah, we just got the, the one, the alpha we just saw. Okay, um, that's not the end of this video just yet. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna log in. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Why do you think you're here in order to the lesson? Uh, I'm gonna have to pause. In editing, I'm gonna have to pause these just to read what that said. Uh, this isn't what I want. This isn't one of those realities you're talking about. After all I've been through, picking myself up from nothing, meeting amazing people, and finally breaking free from the cycle of apathy and self-hatred, it proves that anything is possible. Those alternate realities where nobody loves me? Those aren't the reality I live I live in right now. They're gone now, but after all this time, I finally found people that I truly care for, to whom I can truly say I love you. These feelings are real. I know they are. Did that, did that just freaking happen? Did that just freaking happen? Like I said, I'm so on edge. I, I don't know why. I probably have like no reason to be on edge, but... Okay, maybe I'm just hyping myself up. Maybe I'm scaring myself. In the end, there was nothing left for me here. Whatever journey I was set on, whatever goals the world had in mind for me, they ended in, in failure. As I should have expected, I wasn't able to find what I was looking for. The city, New Elvis, it didn't have it. In the end, part of me believes that it's because it didn't exist. Love. Was it just a foolish dream? Oh. Convenience store. It's been a long time since that day. I've nearly forgotten everyone's names and faces. Some days I wonder <coughs> if it really ever happened. I returned to my hometown. I resigned myself to the life I led long ago, working overnight hours at a neighborhood store. It's still the life I imagined for myself. In fact, oh, it's not the life I imagined for myself. In fact, it's far from what I dreamed of. Even so, I've continued to exist. Despite not having a reason and no longer having a dream, I've continued to survive. Sometimes, though, I wonder. Hello, who is it? <laughs> that's so that's so ominous I want to dream just a little longer uh, what achievement unlocked dark side so that's actually the the picture for the dark side achievement K's bad ending and that's why I thought it was ominous that's why I was so nervous going into this. So, I guess that's it. Um, well, I mean, 
I got jump scared for no apparent reason. I shouldn't have got jump scared. Uh, it wasn't even a jump scare. It's just I got startled because I was already hyping myself up that something ominous was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't think this game even has anything scary in it. <laughs> I just hyped myself up for no reason. But all right, that's gonna do it uh, for this episode of Angel Wings. Again, I just wanted to go through Kay's ending because I thought it was gonna be ominous. It wasn't. Um, I'm just stupid. <laughs> but what does that mean? Continue to dream? What was all of that? The lore. The lore. Um, okay, so I'm a little curious as to why that's labeled the true ending. Um... The story, the lore behind it, why that's the true ending. Uh, yeah, right here, Dark Side, unlock the true ending. Was it all a dream? Like all the words, or like all the the texts were saying, I don't know, the narration, the dialogue, I don't know. Because main character, for the bad end, well, true, I guess, yeah, we'll just say the true ending. Main character goes back to their hometown to work at a convenience store. And, oh man, I just... I don't know. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on uh, what that true ending is supposed to mean. Um, Cause I'm a little confused. Dang, I don't know. That was interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And this is Divine Plays and I'm out. Peace.